Well, National Right to Life Day is just one week from today. It marks the 37th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade decision. And since then, there have been nearly 50 million abortions. And it's the subject behind a new movie featuring one of Christian music's biggest stars. Take a look. Grammy Award-winning Christian singer and best-selling author Rebecca St. James is passionate about her faith and her music. She also devotes her time to getting the message out to teens about sexual purity and abstinence until marriage through songs like Wait For Me and her book, Pure. Now Rebecca is taking her message to the screen in her first feature film, Sarah's Choice. She plays a young pregnant career woman faced with a life and death decision. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, the star of Sarah's Choice, Grammy award-winning singer Rebecca St. James. It is great Thank to have you, you back. Terry. It's been a little while since we've seen each it other. It has been a couple years. Well, Could we be... mentioned in that that little setup piece that it really purity until marriage has always been a strong message that you've brought to us. Why yeah. is that so important? Yeah. Well, when I first started singing, when I was about 16, the True Love Waits movement was really yes. hitting at that time. And so um, I was asked by a lot of different youth leaders to come in and just say, teen, talking to teen, please encourage young people to wait. And there's, there was such a need for that that I continued to speak about it, write books about it, you know, wrote a song to my future husband telling him I'm waiting. And so... Um, it was really fulfilling a need and something that I've continued to speak about. You know, we live in such a highly sexualized culture. I talk with my kids about this all the time. It's everywhere. Yes. I mean, you have to guard your heart and your mind in yeah. Christ Jesus. What do you say to young people today about yeah. how to handle that, how to protect yeah. yourself from it? Well, I do actually do um, quite a lot of uh, singing events too with my mentor Evie. You probably remember, remember Evie Tonkin. Evie, yeah. yes, I love. <laughs> she her may music. be watching actually. Um, so we we do these mother daughter events, and I talk to the girls about purity and just the importance mm -hmm. of honoring God with your body and how God has the best plan for us, and it is to wait, it is to save sex for marriage, and well, like you said, to be careful what you're putting in your mind mm -hmm. because what you're listening to, what you're watching, feeds your actions. Yeah. You know, it's so, it's everywhere. I mean, it's, and, and I think for our young people today, it's been such a part of our culture that yeah. they don't even, they're, they're not yeah. even sometimes aware of how pervasive it is, yes. that it's in song titles, it's on television, it's in yes. the movies, it's yes. in texting conversations mm -hmm. and Facebook pictures mm -hmm. and things. In the movie that you have done, Sarah's Choice, you are a young professional woman faced with a difficult choice. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, well... You know, this, this movie is such a miracle. Like, God really prepped my heart for it. I moved to California about a year and a half ago because I really sensed a need for more Christians to be involved in films, um, and, and especially a need for faith and family films. I love yes. that it was on the show earlier. You were promoting another one. Um, and so I moved to California, got involved with a crisis pregnancy center through a couple of friends, and saw they're doing this incredible work of yes. helping these girls in yes. need, you know, girls that are unmarried and pregnant and are in a situation like my character. Well. I didn't even know about Sarah's Choice, hadn't auditioned for it, knew nothing about it when God ignited my heart through this pregnancy center for the pro-life message. Mm -hmm. Then months later, I was asked to audition for it. And so I knew exactly who to go to for prep material, went to the crisis pregnancy center and said, load me up because I want to get into the mindset of a girl who is struggling with this decision. She's not a Christian. She, you know, is unmarried, pregnant, career woman, feeling all this financial pressure, and she's deciding what she's going to do. Rebecca, I hear over and over again from people that even for Christian young girls yeah. who find themselves in this situation, that yeah. sometimes it's their mothers who have raised them to believe this is wrong, who drive them to yes. the abortion clinic because yes. it's a fast and an easy answer or appears to be yeah. what alternatives would you share are available to any woman young middle-aged wherever she might be that finds herself pregnant without wanting it or anticipating it yeah well actually a, a gal that I know has shared with me her story with tears about how she was you know a believer knew right from wrong and um, and found herself unmarried and pregnant and 
and covered up her, her sin by having an abortion. And she, is, she has two children now. Mm -hmm. She's happily married. But she grieves that agony of that decision still to this day. And so I would just say to any young person that is in that situation, and you've got people in your life that are encouraging you to have an abortion, don't. Uh, because the, the countless women that I've spoken to um, through now being involved with a lot of different crisis pregnancy centers um, are just telling me how much they regret that. But also they're speaking up about the forgiveness of God that they have come to him, you know, confessed what, you know, confessed yes. this abortion. They've gotten counseling. They've gotten people speaking into their life and they're feeling the, the freedom and the forgiveness of God. And that's such a theme in the movie. My character has three visions of what it would be like if she... Um, if she chooses life. So she's, she's teetering, she's mm -hmm. going back and forth, feeling this pressure to have an abortion. And uh, so she sees these three visions, kind of like Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, her daughter at six weeks old, her daughter at six years old, and then grown with her own baby, and she chooses life. So it's, it's such a hopeful film, and one that we hope will save children's lives. We already know it has saved some. And there are so many wonderful families, wonderful couples who are childless, that, that long would love to, to adopt. have children. Yes. Yeah. It's I, I marvel at the thinking sometimes in, in the minds of women who become pregnant, whether they're 16 mm. or 36, who say, I could never give my baby away, but I could destroy the life that's yeah. in me. It's so hard to comprehend it that. It is so when hard to comprehend. When there is the option for yes. life. And you know, God says that to us, choose life. Well, January 22nd is the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. What's, what's happening up to that point leading up to well this, well, this week, this. I, I just know, um, for me, you know, I'm going to be in, in Kentucky for Sanctity of Life Sunday and um, doing some events around that uh, later this week on Fox, um, on Hannity, just talking about this pro-life message, how important it is. And I just do encourage people, too, to get behind your local pregnancy center. And if you're in a situation like this, go to them and say, please help me. They're just loving on these girls that are in these situations and offering the hope and the love of Jesus. It's so beautiful. And that's a good message to send. Crisis pregnancy centers are located all around the country. Mm. It's not a place of judgment. It's no. a place of caring and mercy and grace. Yeah. So if you find yourself in that situation, look up a local crisis pregnancy center. I want to mention the movie we've been talking about. is called Sarah's Choice. It's now available on D uh, DVD. If you want to find out how you might get a copy of it or to see how you can schedule a screening in your area, just head over to CBN.com. Great to have you here. Thank you so much Thank for Thank you for all me. you do. <laughs> it's wonderful Thank to you. have you with us.